This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Shining Force. In the last episode... Oh, Shining Force CD. I don't know how I could forget the CD part. It's a CD! Uh, in the last episode, we started Chapter 4 on our way to save Prince Nick, and it looks like he's being taken away by Barbara and uh, the masked man, who apparently is questioned by his own organization for his loyalty. What does that mean? Well, we won't find out today, but uh, it's there somewhere lingering in the ether. But anyway, off screen, I got mostly everyone up to level 20, except for Slade, because he died at the last second, like right before fighting the Minotaur off screen. So, oh well, that just happens. I mean, I don't have to tell you that that happened to me, but I'm going to, you know. So let's uh, promote the, everyone else who needs to get promoted. Oh yeah, I forgot, uh, off screen, or Guyan joins you, but unceremoniously. He just joins you. He doesn't even get a... He doesn't even get to dun 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 You know, that type of thing, but, uh... But yeah, here's guy on stats. Uh, he's still a berserker, level 8. But I thought you were level 20 last time. Come on, man. I mean, technically the game doesn't save those levels even if you port the file over. It just ports, like, names and stuff like that. Um, I think if you... I think the I think the only thing it really ports over other than certain names is, like, Prince Nick. My, his name might be different if you change his name. So since I left it the same... It didn't change his name, so... Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave... This time, I'm actually gonna... Despite me usually leaving, like, uh, keeping the unique characters on, I'm gonna leave Guyan off this time and, in the final party, because despite his strength and everything like that, it's really... He's just got really poor agility, because he ends up going, like, last half the time, so... Sorry, buddy, we're gonna dump you this time. But anyway, let's, uh... <clears throat> level up uh, the rest of our characters, so let's go with Dina first. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button. It's like when I first started this game, I was uh, forgetting the, my button presses. So, all right, let's get Dina up to hero class. Yes, become a hero. When you never were a hero, you don't really act like you're the hero of this party or like a leader. Really, you're kind of mute and all that. So it's kind of hard to be a leader when you you don't even we don't even know if you can use sign language. Ah, we know he talks. It's just Swordman Dina will become a hero. Sorry, I was gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> His little dinky walk becomes more refined as he finally puts on some decent armor. Is he gonna cut that stupid bang off his hair though? Stop being all emo. Nope. Nah, they don't change the portrait though. So, all right. How about Natasha? Are you gonna go become more, uh, more not shy and? Oh wait. No. Anyway, she's gonna come. She's gonna become a wizard. You're a wizard, Natasha. All right, nice. You got uh, some handsome green and red of that. Very cute. All right, let's get Eric. All right, Eric. You're going to become a paladin. Eric would would not want to be a paladin. Anyway. Ooh, you got a helmet and everything. Man, looks like a... Well, it's a centaur, but you know what I mean. It looks like a centaurian or something like that, so... Um, yeah, Slade's like right there. I think his experience, oh, his experience is, I'll give him that by the next, by this battle. Uh, he'll be a little bit behind, so I'll just choose like one random battle to try and get him up. Although the battle we're about to do, spoilers, are going to be a battle bad. It's not really good leveling up level, or level up battle anyway. So whatever levels you're at will be fine, although six is preferable. But yeah, it's not a very good level up area, so. Anyway, let's get May, the cat girl. What is she going to become? A wizard. A wizard cat girl. I don't believe you. Now we can finally, um, you know, give everyone their new equipment. Thank goodness. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, Sarah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, last episode, I was talking about how I couldn't use the black ring because I didn't equip it, which is true. But the main reason I couldn't use it is because I wasn't a wizard class. I forgot. And I forgot the black ring also isn't cursed. That's the demon ring. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, let's give her the protect staff that we've been holding on to. Yeah, it gives, wow, it gives a pretty decent attack rate. But it also gives your defense plus two. Although we might end up just giving her the holy staff because we can now buy those. And the black ring. The big thing about the black ring is you can use it to cast blaze two as an item when you equipped it, but it also raises your attack by ten, which is weird. Only wizards can equip it, so you're gonna get a wizard that can actually do some damage. Which I don't know who the best. Let me just look at the um, attack. See, she would have been thirty-six originally. What's uh, Natasha's? No, no. Don. Uh, May gets way better attack stats, which is weird for a wizard, but she does get better attack stats than Natasha. Although, yeah. 
Um, and that's not counting the weapon or anything. Well, it's not that huge if you look up, if you think about adding the weapon and everything, but still. Um, all right, we can now finally um, swap around our items and stuff like that. Uh, I wonder if the, actually, let me see if the, I think the critical sword is supposed to be better, but now we can buy the, this new shop now that we got it, this chapter can now, yeah, has now new items, so let me look at the weapon difference. Yeah, it's actually weaker. So what I need to do is I get, need to drop off Claude's critical sword. Since, although I might end up using him, maybe dropping... Um, I might drop one of the centaurs and put him in the group. Because despite him being a promoted unit afterwards, his, fl his ability to fly uh, makes it kind of hard to ignore that. You know, basically you can avoid terrain. So, But uh, I'm going to give you yeah, the critical sword. As far as I know, it doesn't actually do more critical damage, or you can possibly get critical hits, so... Oh, well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sorry, the beginning of this episode's gotta be mainly be, um, uh, clear, cleaning up, uh... Oops, we don't need to... I've, I actually, off-screen, when I was leveling up some of the character Jaw, I used the Fire Axe a couple times. It didn't show any cracks, so we're good there. Usually the, the game will say, hey, there's a crack forming in the, in the item or whatever, and that's usually when you go, oh, hey, I need to, uh... Um, I need to fix the same before. If I use it again, it might uh, might destroy itself. Oh yeah, and the running ring I had from the previous episode, I completely forgot to mention that. I decided to put that onto Sarah, because since she's a healer, we want her to get, have a decent move range. Uh, okay. All right, let's buy stuff now. Although I don't need to... I was just seeing if... Uh, oh yeah, that's what he already has, so... All right, good thing there. So, all right. <laughs> I just like the... Oh. Uh, yeah, we need to... Oh, yeah, and I gave uh, Don the halberd I got a while back, so... Uh, I'll probably... I might end up keep, uh, keep keeping Don, but I want to I wanna wait until their levels get pretty even, and then I can kind of guess who I want to keep. Um, oh, that is better than his fire axe. I think I can still use the heat axe as long as it's in my inventory now that I'm the class that can use it, so yeah, we'll do that. I just have to be careful not to attack with any anyone with a um, that has an item so you can get the drop. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, give him an axe even though I really don't need to. And, uh, yeah, Luke, I leveled up Luke. A uh, couple, oh. No, I was thinking, no, I got him, I promoted him. Never mind, I was thinking of something else. Um, yeah, uh, Jaha and, uh, and uh, weirdly enough, the unique characters of the game, the ones that have like the, the most unique sprites and uh, in-game combat sprites actually get a, a major uh, overhaul, uh, overhaul in look. Like, Jaha looks... I mean, he has the same stature, but he attacks differently, and he looks differently. Same with Luke. Luke also has a major overhaul, which is a nice touch that, that some of the unique-looking characters get, to, uh, get that. Oh, I guess I'll... Okay. I guess I could give... Uh, it does give her less defense, but she does heal, and it gives her... Well, but she's not supposed to be attacking, though. Well, let's save me. I'll just give the protect staff to uh, Natasha, since she probably needs the defense more anyway. Um, yeah, the holy staff heals you two HP every every turn that you're that you're weakened. So yeah, let's go ahead and give that to Natasha. Why not? She needs the defense anyway. Actually, the guy who needs the defense, I might end up um, the 18. Yeah, actually, I think I might. I've considered giving the protect ring that I had on. Um, Luke and giving it to Slay just because when he died again, I was like, really? You died again? <laughs> Slay, you're making it hard to defend you as a character you want to keep. You know? But, uh, oh well. Alright. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. Power, uh, that power stick doesn't do anything. It's so bad. Yeah, we're going to keep off the... Even though I like keeping the spears around, I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, power stick. I kind of wish, uh, I do kind of wish some of the portraits would actually change when you level up too. Like maybe it shows like their, not all of them, but like some of them where it shows like their maturity or something like that over, over time. And then they finally can, you know, from what the, the kids or whatever that started this have now grown up and because of the war or whatever. But anyway, you get the great shot, which is a nice little upgrade from previously. Looks like Chester is getting a kind of a edge over Graham for pure damage. But Graham does have the... Wait, is that... Hold on. 
Okay. Graham does have the advantage of movement, though. At least on the planes and everything like that. But, okay. Alright, we're done with that, so... Alright, let's get... Let's chase after Prince Nick, and hopefully we can save him. We must pass through the val this valley to reach the shrine. If we're here to the ambush... If we were to be ambushed here, it'd be fatal. You said the words! We must take the chance. If we hope to reach the shrine before them... Hey, Cyphers! What's the matter? Can't you make up your mind? That sounds like something a bully would say in, like, an old high school play or something like that. Uh-oh. I don't like that jewel. While you're standing there arguing, your prince is being sacrificed to Eon. Even though that's probably not the voice that sorceress is giving, but... <laughs> you, you're a monster! You're an animal. I'll break your neck. Whoa. Well, I mean, this isn't working. Listen up! Okay, about the three suitors over here. We must lure Cyphers in the dungeons, even if it costs us our lives. You know we can hear you, right? But we're gonna go into the dungeons anyway, right? So anyway, we get a lot more new enemies in here. And if you haven't already guessed, huh? I wonder why this canyon's designed the way it is. Huh? Let me think. Oh, this is probably yeah. This would be a really good battle for uh, Claude, because then he could just fly over the. Uh... Oh, I may have to actually. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, oh wait, no, there. I think you can actually climb these. So, okay. For a second, I was thinking, oh, can you not get these? Without Claude was like, no, no, you can. You can climb the these little. They're like the vines from that one area, so you can climb these. Unfortunately, you can't get to the um, to this without flying, or get to this without going through this uh, cavern of death. But anyway, um, there's two treasure chests which are here and here, which I think are new weapons, or here and here, and then. Uh, who has the weapon? Ah, you, uh, the Minotaur has the evil axe. It's cursed because it's evil. Oh, anyway, let's look over the stats. Got, a, uh, got brass gunners reappearing again. Uh, got some more golems from the previous. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show their stats, but it's the same as the previous spell. Got more Minotaurs, more than the one. And then more brass gunners. And gargoyles. And I got a couple of clerics this time. Oop. Come on, game. Um... And boom, Cerberus, Minotaur, Cerberus, and then there's the Demon Master. That's the boss of this area. Yeah, I got Freeze 3 and Boost. Oh boy. But uh, the big threat in this is the Eon statue. Uh, it has zero attack. Well, well, then we won't have to worry now, will we? Um, well, yeah, if you haven't already guessed, ooh, look at the, what the new models. Man, especially Eric. Eric got a complete makeover. Yeah, Luke kind of just turned his... I mean, his in-game battle model is better, but all they did was just slap blue on him. Uh, very nice. Yeah, look at Jaw. He, like, he got a complete makeover. Same with the, the leader there, but... Uh, uh, I might just have Don in them. I mean, he's got... Dean is going to get attacked, but... Uh, yeah, I wonder why there's these side crevices here. I wish I knew. Uh, she's not supposed to be attacking anything anyway, so... Although she's got the move, but it wouldn't really do much. I mean, she could cast Hell on the creature, I guess. Yeah, let's have, uh... Higgins. Uh, we'll have, uh, Eric go up that way. I don't want to have too far ahead because, uh, you know. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Haha. -ha. Oh, whoops, I forgot to, uh... Yep, and, uh... The great shots and have that explosive ability. Yeah, I forgot I turned off the... When I was level grinding, I turned off the display so I could uh, get through battles a little faster. So. But yeah, if it isn't already obvious, we need to make sure to hide in these little crevices here. Um, Uh-oh. Is it, it's still blue. But yeah, the Eom statue does something. Yeah, if you haven't already guessed, look at the uh, big lines here. Um, yeah, the, the Eom statue, every, I forgot how many turns it is, but, uh, you'll be warned when it turns yellow that the next turn right after that, will it'll shoot. And it shoots in an endless vertical line, which means it basically hits to the bottom of the map here. Um, and three rows, so these three right here. So you need to hide to these crevices. If not, you'll take, like, 14 to 17 damage. So it's not the worst damage, but, you yeah, know, be prepared to heal. And the great thing about, um... Great thing about this, though, is that uh, it will hurt the enemies as well. So any enemies in line will take damage. So, yeah, consider, keep that in mind, too. Uh-oh. 
No! Samurai, er, ninja! Get hit by a frickin' ballista, er, frickin' bomb. Oh, yeah, show off that uh, Don? Yeah, very nice. Although you can hardly tell, like, although she wears a helmet, even though she doesn't actually wear a helmet in her, mo in her portrait, but, you know, whatever. Uh-oh. Ow. Wait, did I? Did I forget to save it? I thought I saved it when I changed the display. There we go. Yeesh. Um. Might wait to let it shoot off its turn first and then go in. Uh, if he's. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely need to. That would be up the Plastic Wizard book from previously. So. Gone is the doofy mage, and uh, uh, now is the is the impressive uh, sorceress, even though that's not her actual class. How does a freaking tank block a, a, or actually no, never mind. A tank can block an attack, but you know what I mean. Like, how could it dodge it? Yeah. Oh yeah, here's Luke and what the heck, game? Do I do I need to smack smack someone like badly? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and boost just so I don't uh, get. Well, one, we can go quicker, and two, I'm gonna get one shot again. And you'll get a big, nice, big boost of experience for that. Oh, there's Jaha. Yeah, yeah, you can tell he's a lot more his just his attire, and it looks like his attitude is a lot more confident too. You know, not that that was ever his character, but. Oh, maybe I should have. Yeah, whatever. Better get it out of the way now. You know. Oh yeah, Graham ended up dying off off screen when I was when I was redoing the battle, so he's not as high level as he would. Because I think it was like five or something like that when I played with him. Um, trying, to, trying to remember what else happened. Um, oh yeah, the leader uh, Dina when he hits uh, level twenty, he got bolt two. Um, let's see. I think I'm trying to remember who else got uh, a bump. I think. Uh, I think Slade ended up getting like heal three. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what other, other than obvious stat increases and stuff like that. I just need to get someone in there and finish them off. And yeah, because we're at the level now, just let Don, Don get it. Yeah, come on down, my pretties. I don't think the AI is smarter. Than, okay, next turn, next time it goes, it will shoot that. It'll be, it'll fire its laser. I don't think the enemy is smart enough to uh, dodge out of the way, I don't think. At least I don't remember them ever actually doing that. If they do, I think it would be by complete accident. So. Yeah, it's the spear. Actually, that probably should have gone to Eric. So I'll have to swap out, uh, give him the halberd if I can ever get over there. Ow. I wonder if he took that 15 damage from the, the, the casing that flies out of that thing. Um... Yeah, better, better just to straight up finish things off and not drag it out. Very nice. Wow, 28 damage. Look at that. Yep. It's nice finally seeing promotion stats come up. Uh, I don't remember the gunner having any particular weaknesses to any magic, so just attack him with whatever. It seems, uh... Well, no, I think that's about the... Um... Oh, you got hit pretty bad. Although I might just have Sarah. Oh no, he get over there. Heal him up. Nice having a little bit of defense for Slade. That's probably why he has the boost spell because he has really bad, bad defense. Until he gets promoted though. But anyway, we're just gonna. Yeah. Everyone over to the side. So that way we don't get completely wrecked by the laser. Um, and yeah, it can do that infinitely. It's just it has to wait like three turns. I think it's three turns because it went one. So it was blue on its one turn. Then second turn, it turned yellow. So yeah, every it's three turns or whatever. So. Oh yeah, do you have him? Oh, he doesn't have a... Okay, he has a green, so... Whoops. Nope. Okay, there we go. I should finish him off, right? Ah, close. Come on, Eric. 
dawn sh it dawns, dawns up on you, you know. Although I don't think that you better not be able to kill me with defense. Otherwise, I'll be very cross indeed. Oh my, are you kidding me? Oh, son of a... Wow, game, wow. That's That shouldn't have killed him. Like, he has enough defense, you know. With the boost, I mean... No, he doesn't, because he dies. That really stinks. Unless healer. Of course I shouldn't have. Well, it's it's weird. I, sometimes I feel, I, I, I feel like I figure out the AI, and then all of a sudden they'll do something that they weren't normally doing, which is he was attacking... I guess it's one more turn. I could have swore it was he fired on his red turn. Man, I'm misremembering stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, now we have the Valkyrie. So that's the spear. I'll do a... Uh, uh, give the uh, one item to uh, Eric. And then, uh, well, actually... I'm going to do some damage to you guys. Eh, he's a little bit resistant to ice. But that's, oh, that's right, I should use Blaze, because Golems are resistant to ice. Man, I'm just... Not, not, uh, not playing right today, you know? Oh, well. can't believe Slay got killed again. I kind of wish this game series had a way to, like, um, resurrect, like, characters mid-battle with, like, a, like, a Leaf of Idrisil or something like that, you know? But then again, this game, like, is... Overall, in the grand scheme of uh, our uh, strategy RPGs, is not that difficult. So, this one, the guy who keeps like losing random members all the time, it's like, well, what can I tell you? Yeah, we'll just run over here. So, I don't want to see him good. Although, with my ranger range characters, I could just uh, keep keep wailing on him. So. All right, get the Buster shot. That's an upgrade for our Rage character, so I'll give it to someone. Probably give it to Graham because his attack is a little bit less than the. Uh, um, okay, it was a little bit less than uh, Chester's. So there we go. Ha ha! Yep, and it attacks all all enemies or anything there. Oh, he's gotta get the. I like the they use the boss music for it. I just like listening to it, so sorry if I was quiet there, so... Aw, oh, you got the experience for that, though. Oh, well. And it resets back to normal. Alright, now we can now we can go, or charge the field. Now that's the best time. Usually, I, usually that's how I am, first time I play, or first time I do this level, I basically let it, let it fire, and then I, then I go on. Everyone's using their boost spells. Let's sit, uh, show off Dina's new attack form. Was he golfing or something? But I like how he's going the the full plate mail or whatever that is. I think that's full plate. Then again, my my remembrance on um, let's see on a um, medieval like you know armor and stuff like that is a bit be bit behind you. Know? Yeah, but Buster Shot gives you a couple extra points of damage, so it makes them equal, make them equal to Chester. All right, Chester. And yeah, I'm not gonna worry about like levels in this case. If I really want to do this, I can level, I can redo this fight. But I was hoping to get Slade to 20, but he freaking got cheap shotted, you know, because you know the guy who had been attacking Eric the whole time all of a sudden decided to attack Jaw or attack Slade, you know, even though you know. I don't know. It just seems weird how, like, you think you figured out the enemy AI in certain difficulties, um, and then all of a sudden it doesn't do what it normally does, like, all of a sudden. Right, wait a minute, you've always been doing this. Why do you all of a sudden change your mind, you know? Although technically I probably shouldn't be making everyone go forward just because not everyone's going to be able to get into the crevices before it's turned, but I guess we'll see what happens. I do have Aura if it really comes down to it with Sarah, so... Oh yeah, and the Higgins got. Oh no, I think I was on screen for that. Higgins got, got Katan, which is Blaze. I think it's Blaze two. Yeah, it's got the um, same stats for it. So and yellow. You know, uh, what is it? Red light, green light. You know. Punch. Just big old 
Rocky Fist. Rocky Mountain High, take me home. It's kind of weird to have that. It's kind of weird that the AI was able to like move conveniently enough into range of the laser at the time. You guys are getting annoying. Stop punching the hero. What the? Come on, man. Whatever do you? Huh? What I do? What I do? I mean, I need to give. Uh... I think that ends the turn if you do that, though. Well, they get enough movement, so. Okay. Might as well just stay put, I guess. Got Sarah healing. Oh man, that that uh, that that Cerberus is uh, really really being a pain by moving there. Now I'll have a. Uh, May probably or uh, uh, yeah, finish you off. Yeah, Jaha seems to be pretty good about getting those levels. Like, really, yeah, yeah, three HP build and everything. Man, he's he's finally gonna get his HP up after all this time. I oh, yeah, probably should have uh, gotten closer for healing. And of course, anyone who's been hit obviously needs to get to the side whenever whenever the red turn comes about. Yeah, better kill the hero. Because obviously if he dies, you know. If he dies, we all go home and have a beer. And the enemies win. I don't think any of my groups are gonna get to the um, out of range by the time we get there, so it might be it might be a case of I'll just have to run back. That should finish him off, I think. Yeah, yeah I can tell, you yeah, know, this is not very good for the experience. Um, yeah, I might move my wizards off to the side. Yeah. So what we'll may Natasha uh, off. Yeah, they're not gonna make it in time. Or I mean they're not gonna make it to where I can keep moving forward, so. I think the I think the way that the orb of Eon goes, I think it always goes last no matter what, like Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. Yeah, someone's gonna get hit, but I like said we have aura, so um, yeah, I don't know if it there, so I'm gonna have to there. I'm just thinking, I mean Jaw could take the hit pretty easily. Uh, yeah, I'll probably have Sarah back up to get this go back and just uh, have a and just put these guys in a, in an order that'll um, that they can get healed like really easily. Cause there's no way I'm not gonna be able to. And I'll just let them take a hit. I mean, I'll try to. Ah, no, well, he's not gonna die from that hit. So. Yeah. Oh well. Sorry, I just like the music. I just like the boss music in this game, so I was letting it run. All right, now everyone move up. Now that we have to don't have to deal with like, the golems or anything like that. So I didn't think I was gonna be able to get through this whole area without like with no damage. I was hoping we or no like um, yeah, I better put these guys there just to heal. Now I'm gonna leave because I was about to say she's probably gonna get her turn pretty soon. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I, I was hoping that maybe I could figure out a like way to to not get hit by the laser, but oh well. I right, said so we have Aura, so obviously if you don't use Sarah, I'd suggest at least using Sarah for this fight for Aura ability, or make sure everyone has like um, healing or healing seeds. Um, Go ahead and actually use a book verb just to make sure. Besides, I need to I need to start buying healing seeds at this point anyway. So was was he actually? Oh right, he got hit by the thing. Gotcha. 
I'm gonna show off Kitan. Or Katan. I think it's Katan, I'm sure. I don't like you saying Kitan. Yeah, he even does. Well, no, he probably does like a, a ninja sign or something like that before he. Uh, I get cast hell on him or attack him. Wow, you actually do decent damage for a cleric. You're just you're just sitting, you're just keeping us here so we can't. Uh, you know, let me guess. Fire. Yep. Of course, the critical attack always activates fire. Of course you do. And chests are pretty far behind, so. Uh oh. Um, yeah, best to get rid of the cleric if we can. I think Sarah's enough to do it because I gave her the running range. She should be able to heal uh, our friend Higgins. Let's see, I can't. No, I don't have to do it. Yep. All right. Heal you. Oh, Eric got hit too. So let's go ahead. Or uh, just to cover our bases. Around the dot. Although you shouldn't really be putting a ninja in the front, though. <laughs> you should be in the back or getting from behind, going from behind. So, yeah, let's show off bolt. I'm not going to be egressing in it. Technically, um, uh, Natasha has enough MP for that. So. And I'm not running for this fight anyway. So, very nice. Oh, I found out there is a character that's a, a like resistant to bolts, and that's the Belials. I tried to, uh, I tried casting on it. It was only doing like six damage or something. That I was like, oh, they're actually resistant to that. Oh yeah, of course the fire wasn't going to hurt the surface. But... At least we can survive a hit from the laser if it comes down to it. Oh, I don't know. I'll try to see if that works. Yeah, let's see. Cerberus? Oh, come on. None of you? Yeah, see, this is why I don't uh, use um, status afflicting stuff, because it. Oh, really? Another critical? Like, seriously, what are the odds of, like, two critical attacks, like, back-to-back? -back? Oh, yeah, in this game. Uh, pretty high. I, I mean, I missed back-to-back -back multiple times, so why not, right? No, I can't hit anyone with that. No one. Uh oh you know, I'm, I realize I'm actually too bundled up. The Belial's gonna hit us with a... Bolt. Oops. Oh, well. Hopefully that won't do as much damage as I think it will. We're gonna have to. Yep. Of course. Oh, you hit it. Well, well at least. Uh... uh oh. Actually, this might be bad. Especially because of the uh, main character. Yeah, this fight is a little bit more difficult than your standard fight. It's you know, definitely more difficult than the previous fight just because of the um, the way we're kind of locked in. Yeah, I better get rid of that Cerberus. Mainly because the the Belial just went so. I didn't know she'd get her turn so fast, so. And then of course I moved Jaha, but I needed to finish off I need to finish off that Cerberus, so. I'll probably just have the range guys go after her. Um, the Belial. I mean that sucked, but it wasn't the worst thing I've ever run across, so. Didn't get much experience from that. Oh, no. I didn't mean to f finish my turn. Uh, fine, whatever. I hate when that happens sometimes on the buttons. Like, I press... I'm, like, I, I was actually going to press the back button, and then it went, uh, went to that, so... Oh. oh uh, yeah, I better go. Even though that's a bit overkill, but better to finish them off. Than, uh. Oh, yeah. I forgot, yeah, the evil axe. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna have to sell it anyway, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, crap. I could let him get hit. Just to take out the Belial. 
Unfortunately, I don't think anyone has enough movement to pull it out of the way. Yeah, he died doing what he loved. Hitting us with electricity. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get hit majorly by this. Oh yeah, I have to move you because you're you won't you won't die, but you'll take you'll a bit too uh, too much. I don't think you have to destroy the the orb either. So, I mean, if you can defeat it, great. But you know, most times you're probably not going to be able to finish it off. Do I have enough to get back? Oh, I do. Let's save uh, save me some damage. Oh, should I really be? Well, they might have enough movement, but yeah. Or mm. you have your, you know, I'm gonna move there so you can hit him with the magic. And I'll work on the player, get, make you use your magic and finish you off. I was gonna hit the orb, but no, not enough for the heal. But I'm not sick because I can't be in these three lines. So. Did fish around. You win this day, cleric. Ah, and he had another. Well, let's have him. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Game! Oh! Again! It did it again! Ugh! Pressing the wrong button. Man, sorry. No, that's just me. I'm, I'm pissed off at myself for, for that. I don't want too many people weak for the sorceress, better leave a, or the demon master. So, uh, that's gonna kill him, isn't it? Or no, I was overestimating magic. Sorry, it doesn't. There's no spell that does that much damage. Um, no better heal you. So, oh, I should have. No, I wanted to heal off Jaw because the cleric's gonna heal himself. But you know what? I can. I'd rather heal Jaha for the next turn, so... Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I better finish you off. Well, I was going to heal Higgins with uh, Sarah earlier, but, you know... Very nice. That was a good level. See, this is why, Hig this is why ninjas are awesome. Well, only, only two people got hit, and that was the Sniper and Natasha, so... I guess I underestimated my speed and quickness to be able to get out of there, but no oh well. I only two characters, so. Yeah, time to finish this thing off. Well, wow, nice start. <laughs> I'm getting a crit on it. Take this, you creepy orb. Yeah, better uh, I'll go ahead and whack on her a few times. The demon master. Let's uh, back off so we can start working on this thing. Yeah, good experience for it. Yeah, we'll easily finish it off before before its next turn. This is level. How's my HP? Well, I mean, those guys got hit. That's obvious, but. Give us some, some much needed living. Yeah, would have, could have had Slade help, but no, he had to die. I think the, I think the orb is resistant to magic. Oh, no, it, 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 full damage, so I guess not. Hmm. I guess, I guess the reason it's not resistant to anything is because of what can, what it, it can do. So, what did I never click the? Oh no, that's right, because it's not a ranged weapon. And I think one more good hit from some because I don't think Chester will be able to finish it off. Probably let the hero just finish off. What are you doing? Are you attacking? Or? Huh. You have better magic though. Why would you do that? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I forgot May had bolt too now. <laughs> Killed off in style. I know that was overkill, but. Cracked it, look at that. And now it can't do anything ever again. Oh, it went all uh, psychedelic on us, huh? Uh, yeah, better. better 
just in case if she decides to, at one point, decide to finally do Freeze 3 and there are things you can do one more time. Let's uh, take a look really quick. Yeah, Freeze 3 can be done again. Because it costs 12, I believe, so. Well, you're not that strong. You're almost getting one-shotted by it. Well, not one-shotted, but you only take a couple shots from Jaha. And... Ah, nice. If only Slade was here to reap in the rewards. I can't believe we failed. We still succeed if the resurrection is successful. That ain't gonna happen, dude. Well, if we don't hurry, anyway. What did he say? Something about a resurrection? Oh, I guess the masters are male, at least according to the, uh, at least according to the American translation. Huh. All right. Well, whatever. Sorry, my bad. It doesn't matter. We need to rescue the prince. Yeah, he's royalty. Royalty comes first before anyone else. But can we rescue the prince? Are we close enough, or are we going to be uh, delayed even further? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force CD. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.